Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to my 20 day decluttering challenge. Now, I have done the 30 day minimalism game. I did that over a year ago. And so I'll leave that linked if you are interested in that. But this is very similar, except for just 20 days. So at the end of 20 days, I will declutter like, I think it's 210 items, over 200 items. Basically the challenge is for every day that you're on, you declutter that many items. So day one, you declutter one item, day two, two, three, three, so on and so forth. I'm the type of person that loves to declutter. And so this is a challenge to me because I have to limit myself per day. Like usually I'll get in the zone and I'll just find tons of things that I can get rid of. But this, I have to be very strategic with the number of items, but I'm excited, I'm ready for it. So let's start, okay? And I am going to get rid of this game. Now this is a game we picked up at the thrift store and I think we've played it one time. So it's time to go. But also I think before we declutter it, we will play it because Nick picked it out. So I don't want to just declutter it without giving it one last hoorah. We're kind of just almost strictly Monopoly people. But anyways, this will be the first thing I'm decluttering. All right, so it's day two. And what I'm decluttering today are these two 5K Jingle Bell Jog medals. I'm decluttering these because we have these two that we got, like Nick and I, because we play second in our age and gender division. So we don't really need four medals. We'll keep these, we'll declutter these. These were just participation medals, so these are gonna go. Okay, so for day three, I'm gonna be decluttering these three plant pots. There's another one. I kept these around thinking that I would like use them for propagations but I never have and probably never will. They're really dirty. I would rather buy like a small pot for my propagations than these. And unfortunately they aren't recyclable. I will be decluttering them so they won't be gathering clearly dust and dust bunnies. So <laughs> this is day three. All right, it's day four. I'm loving this because this is just helping me clear out a lot of junk. But I have all of these like maps and golf course maps that we had when my dad was visiting, which was months and months ago. I don't know why we have two of these, but I'm just gonna include them as one. Uh, that's a golf course scorecard. Then we have a golf course pamphlet with my dad's little like notes on it. Avoid mornings. And then we've got a state park map and a newspaper and map of the Great Smoky Mountains, which we have a better map of the Great Smoky Mountains. So I'm going to recycle this. I'm never gonna use them if my dad comes back to golf. These are available at the golf course if he needs them, but I don't think that he would. So yeah, these are gonna go. Go to the recycling finally. <laughs> Okay, so for day five, this is a super random assortment of things. I'm gonna declutter this makeup bag. It's pretty dirty and I don't use it anymore. This necklace I haven't worn in years. I don't love this organizer. And then these two charting cords that don't work anymore. So I don't know why <laughs> I still have them, but that is what I'm decluttering for day five. Okay, for day six, I've got a couple of things here. So I've got an old shower cap that just, the elastic is kind of just not working well anymore. And I already have a backup of it. I have a scrunchie that is ripped. I have these three metal clip hair clips. I don't even remember the last time I used these. And then I just have like a little pair of earrings that are so old. So this is what I'm decluttering for day six. Hey guys, sorry for the weird lighting, but this is uh, where I was <laughs> decluttering. Today is day seven. I have two of these like cheap backpack things that I think we got from a 5K. Nick said I could get rid of this because it's super old, but it's like a foot spray. <laughs> Three Tibbs toys and two of them are like broken, but he liked them. And this one he hasn't really liked for a long time. I had this, but I don't wanna, I don't think I wanted to declutter this. So I guess I only have six. I need to find one more item. 
Okay, the third thing I'm decluttering, I know this is really weird that we kept this, but this was also something that Tibbs liked. Um, it's like a really big twist tie. So I'm just gonna be getting rid of like four of Tibbs' old toys. He has so many. He's getting into the bag right now. I'm gonna get rid of these, the foot spray, and the two backpacks for day seven. Okay, today is day eight. I found some random stuff. I've got two different bookmarks. I have tons of bookmarks now that I make my own. So these are old and I don't really use them. This was like a pad of paper sent with some books from an author. These are really old slippers. Don't look too closely. Um, we've got some clothes, three different ones, and then a pair of shoes for day eight. All right, for day nine, I decided to declutter nine nail polishes. I hardly ever wear nail polish in general. Just kind of looking through all the different colors, these are not colors that I would go for if I were to paint my nails right now. It's just not really my style. I'm getting rid of nine nail polishes today, and that feels pretty good. Okay, it is day 10. I am struggling. <laughs> I realized that we do not have a lot of excess things. Since moving to Tennessee, we sold like 98% of what we owned and we really haven't accumulated hardly anything. Like I feel like we have, but now as I'm like going through, I'm like, we don't have a lot of like little things hanging around, but I did find some stuff for day 10. So I'm going to get rid of these like old peach fuzz <laughs> face trimmers. This old pair of earrings that like literally look like they haven't been used in ages and generations. I found this little like body shop facial oil. I have no idea how old it is, but I probably shouldn't be using it on my face. This little makeup bag that it's really cute, but I don't use these like smaller ones. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll just like put a couple things in and put this in my purse, but I've never done that. Maybe someone else would like it. And then I got rid of five different like lip products, two like kind of corally colored lipsticks. I don't wear this color. And then some lip glosses. This is like a foiled one that literally looks like this on my lips. I think I got it for free, but I don't wear that. And then two like more vibrant colored lip glosses that I'm just not gonna wear these. So I am getting rid of all that stuff. So that is a total of 10 items. We will see how I do tomorrow for day 11. I'm struggling guys, wish me luck. All right, it is day 11. These days are gonna get more and more obscure, <laughs> okay? This is what we've got for you today. So we have a pillow, we have some mugs. This one was just given for when Nick donated blood. We've got this one back here, um, this like teacup. I'm gonna count the teacup and the little plate separately because I need that. <laughs> Um, this little like cat speaker and this candle that I think Nick randomly found. And then all of these magazines were like sitting on top of our fridge. I don't know why Nick decided to like hoard these. I mean, we liked looking through the Lego one at Christmas time, but I mean, I'm gonna get rid of all of these. These were maybe all from Christmas. So yeah, these are gonna get recycled. Perfect. Okay guys, it is day 12 and you guys might think that this is cheating, but I need it because I am running out of things to declutter, but I'm gonna count individual socks. So for day 12, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six socks. We have a spray bottle or this was like a body mist, but sometimes I keep these around thinking that I might use them for just like the spraying function, but I'm just gonna get rid of that. We have a Barnes & Noble bookmark, an old bra, an old scarf that I never wear. I really don't wear scarves very much anymore and we're getting out of winter and I haven't worn it at all this year, so it's time for it to go. To be honest, I don't know why I kept these. These are from our 5K Jingle Bell jog. Definitely gonna get rid of those now. So that is 12 items, six socks, six other things. So day 12 in the books. Okay guys, it is day 13. This is probably one of the weirdest assortments of things I have. First, we have 
these twinkle lights that burnt out recently. So not gonna lie, I was kind of happy about that because I was like, yes, one more thing to declutter. <laughs> and then we have, Nick just found these. Wet, wet food. Wet cat food, I guess. Um, whoops. Tibbs doesn't like them because he, oh my gosh, I can't even hold these. Tibbs doesn't like these because he's just picky and I don't know what his problem is. He's a weird cat. I'm gonna give these to a friend of mine and hopefully her cat likes them better. And then all of these jars. I and Nick, we have a tendency to hoard these thinking that we might use them, but we just have way too many and we're not using them. Like we still have some, but we have two, four, six, Eight. These are actually old candle jars. Sometimes I keep them around thinking I can repurpose them, but I'm not going to, so. Okay, I believe it is day 14. The one oddball, I guess there's two oddballs, but a Sharpie that doesn't have any more ink. And then on the bottom of this pile, well, I'll just show you. I have a sack of clothes here that was actually given to me by a friend to see if I liked any of them. And ultimately I didn't, either they didn't fit or I didn't love them. So I'm just gonna re-donate them. But we've got a scarf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I have been keeping this. This is the comforter or the plastic thing that our comforter came in, which some of you guys have been wondering where our comforter came from. This is, this is the brand. I don't know if they still sell this specific one, but why I've kept this in the closet, thinking that I would use it for something, it's gonna go. So that's what we've got for day 14. Minus those towels, because I just did laundry. <laughs> okay guys, day 15, we are slowly making it. So for day 15, we've got a super grubby, this is so disgusting, it's an old jacket of Nick's. I asked him if I could finally <laughs> declutter it and he agreed, I cannot wait to throw this away. I won't even show you because it shouldn't be out there, okay? And then, We've got this pile of clothes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine things here. And then for the rest of the six, I'll show you what I'm decluttering. So my friend Brenna made these paper stars for us for like Christmas decorations. They are super cute and <laughs> Christmas is long over, okay? So it's time for them to go. They have been a cute extra decoration, but I'm ready to take them down. Okay, for day 16, I decided to go back over my hair accessories. So I've got all these headbands, because I just realized I don't wear them. I've got these ribbons. I've got more of the like metal clips that I never wear, and then like colorful hair ties. There's 16 more items from a very disorganized hair accessories drawer. So that needs to be organized, but at least I cleared out some more junk that I don't use. It is day 17. We are almost there. I am decluttering eight books, which I just filmed a little YouTube shorts on all the books that I'm decluttering, clearing up some space on my bookshelves, and then, I had all of these like makeup items listed on my Poshmark. They've been on my Poshmark for a while now and I just don't feel like keeping them around for the small chance that they might sell. So I have two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine like makeup eyeshadow palettes for day. 17. Guys, we only have three more days. So close. <laughs> we are on to day 18. So excited. I went through another time over my closet because we are actually moving very soon and we are downsizing our closet. So I figured I would do another sweep. And so I'm decluttering 18 more just random articles of clothing that either are stained and I thought I was gonna like tie-dye this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> and then ones that I just don't 
wear and probably won't wear. So 18 more clothing items to free up space in the closet. All right, it's day 19. This is actually 20 hangers, but I really don't like these wire hangers. Um, my friend gave me some clothes on these wire hangers, but I don't like them. And then this, I think a blanket that I bought forever ago. I don't know why I kept the hanger for it, but this is technically 20 hangers, but I really want to do another declutter tomorrow with 20 items because now we're moving. So I'm going to be getting rid of a lot more stuff and I just want one more day of decluttering 20 things. So this is going to count for day 19, even though there's technically 20 hangers, but shh, don't tell anyone. We want to have another day of 20 declutters. <laughs> so tomorrow I will come back with the final day of decluttering. It is day 20. I'm so excited for day 20. Here is probably the most random assortment of things I have decluttered so far. I've got four placemats decluttering these just because I think we've maybe only used them once and we've had them for almost four years. This is an old like pillowcase cover that I just don't like. A scarf, a necklace, two pairs of like these earbud headphones, my iPad box, as well as the pencil box. Do you guys keep these around forever? I just feel like I keep them around forever and I don't actually need them. <laughs> a nightlight that doesn't work, two um, jewelry boxes, this doesn't work, a USB, what is this? Oh, power bank that doesn't work, a tips toy that he doesn't like anymore, Really not sure what this is, but I'm gonna get rid of it. An old Sharpie that doesn't work and a microphone for a karaoke machine that we don't have anymore, so. Yeah, super random assortment of things, but this is gonna wrap it up and I'll share with you my final thoughts. Here it is. This is, well, at least this is all the stuff that I didn't have to throw away, but this is like 200 items, give or take, that I am decluttering from our apartment. Once I donate these, I am going to feel so much better. These are so heavy. Most of it is probably clothes. I always feel so good after decluttering, but this one was different because I did it not consecutively and that ended up working for me. Um, I've done the 30 day minimalism challenge that I did like every single day. I realized really quickly that since selling almost all of our belongings like a year and a half ago, we didn't really accumulate much since then. And so we don't have a lot of excess stuff, which is great, but obviously still enough to um, declutter. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I just scared Tibbs. You wanna say hi, Tibbs? <gasps> I'm not decluttering this guy. No way. No way. So, because we're gonna be moving soon, it's really nice to have this not a part of the process. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this declutter series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.